Hello and welcome back to our Getting Started series for Password Hub Business. In this video, I'd like to share with you several different ways you can add or even import entries into Password Hub Business. That way you can choose which method or methods best suit your needs. All right, so let's head on over to Password Hub. Now, the first way to add entries is to do so manually by selecting the plus icon in any shared or user vault. So let's start by having Bob add some business related entries into his user vault. Now, Bob's user vault is only accessible to him, so he has full rights to do whatever he wants in it. But in a shared vault, whatever roles and permissions that have been previously set on them will be inherited by the entries themselves. So as you can see, we have a wide variety of entries that you can choose from, from contacts and websites to RDP and SSH sessions, to documents and even cryptocurrency cold storage. Finally, Bob can keep track of all his Bitcoins he's been mining using the servers in the evening, uh, I mean on his personal mining machines at home. Anyways, let's start by adding a website type. So Bob has an internal website that he has to access every single day. So this is going to be a great place for him to safely and securely store his credentials. Now you'll notice down here it says enable Devolutions Web Login. Bob will not only have the advantage to safely secure his website credentials, but he'll also be able to use them with our browser extension so that his credentials can be automatically injected into the website every time he visits it. Don't worry, we'll talk a little bit more about Devolutions Web Login a little bit later in this video. Now I filled out the basic information for a website entry, but you'll notice here all sorts of different properties like HTML, control IDs, one-time passwords, recovery codes, You'll even notice on the bottom, we have an advanced tab, which give you even more advanced options for the entry. So obviously each entry will have different properties and advanced options depending on its type. And we're not gonna look at every type available. So I encourage you to explore entries to discover which options will best suit your organization's needs. Now, if I head on over to a shared vault like Windjammer employees, let's add a Wi-Fi router entry that will be accessible to all employees. Great, so we added the Wi-Fi hotspot. So now I'm gonna also add a document entry. But in this case, I wanna do something special with the permissions. I wanna actually override the permissions of this entry itself. Now, if I go to the advanced properties, you'll notice that I have a security tab here, which is available in shared vaults. This tab will not only show me all of my users and groups, but I can even override permissions as well. So even though Ellen is in the accounting department, she does assist in policies for the HR department from time to time, but she can only view and execute this document. Well, I want her to be able to edit as well. So here I can actually go on edit, select Ellen. Now I can give her permission to edit this entry. If I log into Ellen's account, you'll notice here that she doesn't have access to edit the Wi-Fi hotspot. But if she goes into the Windjammer policies, she can edit the entry because we gave her user specific permissions for this entry. Another great method of adding website entries to Password Hub is with our free browser plugin, Devolutions Web Login. Okay, so let's see it in action by visiting a website that Kelly uses every day to collaborate with her team. She'll simply type in her username and password as usual. But then since DWL is connected, it will prompt her to save the credentials in one of the vaults that she has write permissions to. She's going to save it in her user vault. If we refresh the hub, we'll see that the new website credentials appear. So now if we go back to the Atlassian website, you'll see that a small indicator icon with a little one appears in the credential fields, as well as in the browser extension, indicating that a credential was detected for this website. So let's have her click on the credentials and let DWL do its magic. Now that was really easy and she didn't even have to remember any of her passwords. Now there's another method that we use because we understand that many IT pros are already using a password manager like Dashlane, KeyPass, LastPass, 1Password and so forth. So our team created a small application called Password Hub Importer. You can find it if you go down to tools and go to apps and tools. And it'll take you to our website where you can download the application for desktop as well as mobile and access all of our companion tools. So if I download the Password Hub importer, I can point the tool to my Password Hub. And once I've logged in, then I can actually select which vault I'd like to import my passwords into. Now I have a KeyPass database here that has some credentials here as well as some simple websites. Now I save them as an XML file. And then I'm gonna select KeyPass because this is the type of file I'm using. And since they're primarily websites, let's use this one, that I wanna import directly into one of my vaults. 
and it'll be the Windjammer marketing one. I'll say import selection to hub. If I go into my Windjammer marketing vault, I'll have a folder called database and that was the name of my file and it created an email and internet folder to match the structure that was in KeePass. Now that we've covered three simple ways to add entries to your password hub business, I wanted to show you one final way that you might just want to explore to really unlock Password Hub's full potential, and that's to connect it to Remote Desktop Manager. To be clear, this last method is best suited for IT professionals like Bob and Maurice, as it will probably be a bit overkill for most business users. I also want to mention that since Password Hub is a team-based solution, that it will take the paid enterprise edition of Remote Desktop Manager. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Remote Desktop Manager is a tool specifically designed for IT pros that lets them manage and launch credentials, remote sessions, external tools, provides them with reports and logs, as well as lets them granularly configure roles and permissions, all from a single pane of glass. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife tool for IT departments. Combining Password Hub with Remote Desktop Manager will also unlock over 200 different technologies that users can use from sessions, to synchronizers, to VPNs, to various IT tools. So with some diligence and a little bit of elbow grease, Bob has completed the task of filling his vaults with content. In our next video, we're gonna look at a few more advanced options as well as reports and some of the administration tools that you can use to better maintain and manage your password hub. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video of our series.